Good morning and welcome to you all to this shortened service of morning prayer on this Easter Eve, Saturday the 3rd of April. The appointed psalm for this morning is Psalm 142. May my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. I cry aloud to the Lord, to the Lord I make my supplication. I pour out my complaint before him and tell him of my trouble. When my spirit faints within me, you know my path. In the way wherein I walk, have they laid a snare for me. I look to my right hand and find no one who knows me. I have no place to flee to, and no one cares for my soul. I cry out to you, O Lord, and say, You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I am brought very low. Save me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. When you have dealt bountifully with me, then shall the righteous gather around me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. God of compassion, you regard the forsaken and give hope to the crushed in spirit. Hear those who cry to you in distress and bring your ransomed people to sing your glorious praise for ever and ever. Our first reading is taken from the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verses 1 to 6. Come, let us return to the Lord, for it is he who has torn, and he will heal us. He has struck down, and will bind, he will bind us up. After two days he will revive us. On the third day he will raise us up, that we may live before him. Let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the dawn. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah? Your love is like a morning cloud, like the dew that goes away early. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets. I have killed them by the words of my mouth, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Here ends our first reading. My prayer came to you in your holy temple, and you brought up my life from the depths. I called to you, O God, out of my distress, and you answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the flood surrounded me. All your waves and billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight. How shall I ever look again upon your holy temple? The waters closed in over me. The deep was round about me. Weeds were wrapped around my head at the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought up my life from the depths, O God. As my life was ebbing away, I remembered you, O God, and my prayer came to you into your holy temple. With the voice of thanksgiving I will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed I will pay. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. My prayer came to you in your holy temple, and you brought up my life from the depths. Our second reading is taken from St John's Gospel, chapter 2, verses 18 to 22. The Jews then said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, but will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. Here ends our second reading. The Benedictus. 
Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up, says the Lord. This he said of the temple that was his body. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of all to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, for you to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins, and the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up, says the Lord. This he said of the temple that was his body. Grant, Lord, that we who are, be who are baptised into the death of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, may continually put to death our evil desires and be buried with him, that through the grave and gate of death, we may pass to our joyful resurrection through his merits, who died and was buried and rose again for us, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this short and form of morning prayer this morning. Have our service of evening prayer at five o'clock, if you're able to join us online for that. And then this evening at eight o'clock. We have a service at church for our Easter Eve uh, service of light, if you're able to come along. But that will also be live streamed to our Facebook page, hopefully with no technical glitches this evening. Do hope that you have a good day. Stay safe, take care and look after yourselves. And you remain, as always, in my prayers. <laughs>